Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Today I want to rewatch my latest tournament uh, participation. Um in that tournament uh yeah, we, we played in that tournament. We didn't end ending up winning that tournament and I don't really want to reveal the other games because <laughs> most of the games were against stall so really long matches and me just winning because my opponents didn't want to win. <laughs> they didn't want to win. They just wanted to stall. Uh, so I ended up winning those, and then I get hexed in the last one, I think in the fifth round. This one is in the first round, and <laughs> it was really interesting because I was, because uh, things, you're, you're about to see one of the biggest chokes ever. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some tournament gameplay, so uh, yeah, buckle up guys. Gonna start it, and if you guys haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel. And yeah, guys, 15 seconds. I'm gonna be using the team you see on screen. They played pretty, pretty uh, decently. I, I'm really liking the Sigilev. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be the first round. And as you guys can see, we're playing against Hyper Offense in this one. If, you look, if we're looking at his team, that's Mammoth Swine is, the mo is a potential rocker, and Fernape can be a stealth rocker too. My opponent most likely not running the Defog on his team, so Stealth Rock can definitely hinder the Dragon Knight and the Gyarados. Uh, so I definitely want to try to get that up. Um, but I am kind of afraid of dealing with uh, the Memo Swine in turn 1, or with the Infernape. So I decided to let off with Suicune, I believe. Yep. And he leads up with the Ape, which kind of tells me that this might be Stealth Rock. I just decided to scald this anyway, because this is the biggest threat on my team, on his team. And he taunts me turn 1, which is really interesting. Because um, there's no way I can call mine up and beat, beat him. But he gives me a free attack. I was a bit afraid of the Endeavor here. But on the other hand, I do not switch him well to this guy. And he decides to stealth rock now. So he gets them up. I think he should have just gone for rocks first. If anything, and then he could have gotten enough some damage on me. But we get rid of Infernape. So that's one of the biggest threats. Because now I can kind of commit superior to um, Infernape, uh, to, to the Mammoth Swine. But now superior comes in and I don't really switch in well to superior. But if I look at my team, then Chansey doesn't do much in this game because most of his attackers are physical attackers. So I decided to bring in Chansey as he does indeed make a double. And he's playing upper offense. People do these kind of things. But uh, this does put me a bit behind so I decide to bring in my my Gliscor here and it's definitely scary if he source dances up but I wanted to preserve my Suicune uh for his team obviously and now yeah he goes into he goes for the sword stance and I'm not sure what kind of uh scissor we're facing here but I do know that I need chip on him so I decided to earthquake and he sword dances again so he would only knock me out if he's uh life warp here at plus four so I was, I was really considering, do I go for Stealth Rock here, or do I go for Earthquake? Because Stealth Rock is, like I said, Stealth Rock is nice against the Gyarados, and it, it is nice against the Dragon Knight. But I cannot kill, really kill this guy, because um, Suicune will not kill him with Scald from there, and I'm going to lose my Breloom. Um, and obviously we don't know if he's rest yet, but Stealth Rocking here might not be bad, because I can use Breloom just to weaken him. And then utilize my Suicune by clicking Scald. Um, and then I would have Rocks up. So I'm not sure if I Earthquake here. Try to deal with the threat in front of me. And now that I look at it. Stealth Rock might not seem bad actually. Um, because if I look at my Breloom. It doesn't do much this game either. But at least it can get off a Mach Punch. Get some Chip. And then we can use Suicune with, with Scald to kill this been a while, uh, I don't remember exactly how this one went. I did indeed go for the rocks and he bullet punches into me. So I get up my rocks, which is cool. And from this position, I don't know if I protect here. I don't think it matters much, but um, I don't think it makes a difference either. Him getting to plus six because Suicune will still not take too much from bullet punch and I'm still going to mock punch him with uh, my Bloom afterwards. But yeah, he gets he gets the roll with the bullet punch anyway. It didn't really matter, but 
uh, maybe he would have gotten a low roll and now I do go into my Berloom. Like I said, Berloom doesn't really do much against the others and I can get off this Mach Punch too. 52, we're three percent damage to him, which is really nice. And there are two ways I can play this. I can go Weevil and Ice Shard or I can go Suicune. Um, if I go Weevil and Ice Shard, I will be locked in. But on the other I since Infernape was the rocker, um, I didn't want to take a bullet punch with Suicune because then if I sw switch Suicune into an Earthquake from Memoswine, then I might get to it KO'd by, uh, by a Choice Bandit Earthquake, for example. So I decided to bring in uh, this guy. He can still go into his Memoswine here to Earthquake, um, but if he's Bandit, then he's going to lock himself into an attack. And if he's not banded, then Suicune will eat up his attacks. That really depends on how my opponent wants to play uh, this one out. But uh, the game is now looking quite decent for Chansey. Uh, since I got rid of Infernape, I got rid of the Scissor. Both of them could be running close combat. Um, so there's only the Mem Mammoth Swine that I really need to worry about if he's banded. Or if Dragonite is banded with Superpower. But it really depends on what we're facing here. But yeah, getting rid of uh, Scissor and Infernip is pretty nice. I got out my rocks as well, so we're going to break the multi-skill. But at this position, I don't really want to go for uh, a defog. But defog, on the other hand, might st might be nice as well. Uh, by pressuring his, uh, his flying types. Yeah, my opponent took a long time here on this turn. Deciding what to bring in. Um... Few things he can do, he can go straight into Gyarados, or he could have gone into the Mammoth Swine. I like the Mammoth Swine a bit more, uh, but maybe he thought I wouldn't be banded. But yeah, from this position, I decided to go straight into Sigilyph here. And he Dragon Dance is up, and yeah, if he's Substitute here, or Todd, it's over for me, so <laughs> I really needed him to be Dragon Dance 3 attacks. But I get to activate the play more. And from this position, I decided to trick here. Because whatever he brings in doesn't like to get burnt. And he decides to bring in uh, the superior. So most likely giving me leftovers. Which could be nice. But as you're about to see, this is a choice scarf. This is a choice scarf superior. Which is really interesting. Now I decide to just ice beam. He cannot click glare on me. I'm faster now because of the choice scarf. And he clicks Defog, but now um, he's locked into the Defog. So from this position, I can utilize a free switch or I can Ice Beam, whatever he brings in. I decided to just Ice Beam as he stays in. And yeah, he did Defog for, for us, but it's really good for his uh, Gyarados and his Dragonite, of course. And now Mamoswine comes in. And from this position, he can obviously click Earthquake on me, but I need Sigilyph to kill the Dragonite, so I didn't want to risk it. I decided to bring in my Suicune anyway. And yeah, like, like the like the guy is, he's going to Earthquake there on that turn. And I think I have to go back into my Sigilyph because I get to it KO'd from here. And he decides to stay in and from this position I decided to trick. Because neither Dragonite or Gyarados like to get... Um, Neither one of them like to get a Choice Scarf. And if he stays in, I can win this game with my Chansey. Because now I, I removed all the damage. I removed basically the without the Choice Band, he cannot do it KO my Chansey. Uh, so I do trick him there. Now he's locked in. And I decided to bring back in the Suicune. Because um, now, even if he clicks Earthquake, first of all, he's not going to kill my uh, he's not gonna kill my Suicune. And now Chansey should be able to wall this. So he does click Earthquake again, which is definitely annoying. And I sh I'll probably go into the Sigilyph here. He really doesn't give a fuck about the about the Mammoth Swine, but that's fine. And now we're just gonna spam Ice Beam. I guess we have Chansey, uh, which is really defensive. So Gyarados ne needs to take a while to beat me. And I Ice Beam into him, I can obviously not freeze him. I can freeze the Gyarados though. Uh, but I just want to get off some chip on him. 
I always have Ice Shard Weavile in the back. Um, and I know by a chance he could technically wall the Gyarados, especially because he's leftovers. And then we can use Sigilyph as, a, as an Earthquake immunity against uh, the Mammoth Swine. And as long as we keep Suicune alive like this, we can use it to rest on Icicle Crash. So positioning wise, it doesn't look too bad here. Uh, obviously Mammoth Swine is now faster than Weavile, but he doesn't have the damage buff. So Earthquake is not too hit KOing chance. He obviously can, he can have superpower. It's only if he's it's only if he superpowers into a switch, but if I have Chansey and I can just soft wheel on a turn and see what he does. If it isn't super if it is superpower, he's lowering his attack. If it isn't superpower, I can switch out moves on the next turn. So he decides to switch out here. Gyarados is incoming. And I do get off my ice beam. It's a clean 23.5%. We don't get a freeze here. Obviously, I don't want to take that damage here, so I decided to bring in the Chansey. And we're basically setting up this game for Chansey to win. Because uh, Chansey can 1v1 Dragon Knight as well. If it's Dragon Dance. Because we can Toxic Stall. We can basically Toxic Stall the Gyarados. And the Dragon Knight as long as my opponent doesn't get lucky with uh, flinches here. Or crits, and crits there. Or me missing. And I do Toxic him. He did 39. I'm still above uh, that percentage. So I should be able to... Soft boil up here and now toxic stall him. He does 42 now. I'm at 47. Easy. But no. He does what he does Gyarados things, guys. He does Gyarados and he flinches me because had I got enough that soft boil. Basically, chance he will end up with full HP against his Gyarados. Mammoth Swine doesn't have the damage to knock me out. And then I will poison stall Dragonite unless he's choice banded superpower. But now I have to play this stupid scenario. Which is really annoying, so... Because <laughs> with Chansey gone now, and Mammoth Swine having a Choice Scarf, Mammoth Swine is faster than Weavile. So I'm in a really shitty position right now. <laughs> because of that. So basically, the game is over now. The game is over. I cannot win anymore. Like, I need a Chansey to win a game. I set up Chansey as the win condition, and yeah, Gyarados does what Gyarados does there. So I have to Ice Shard here. And hopefully, Gyarados dying to the poison... He's definitely going to knock me out there. And here, I decided to bring in Suicune. And I, I'm i going off my opponent's choke here. Because if I go Suicune and he goes Mammoth Swine, Icicle Crash doesn't knock me out. And I would probably kill him with uh, Scald or I get off a rest. Probably rest. And here he goes Dragonite. So I can only go off one choke here. And this is him Dragon Dancing up right here. I do have a full HP Sigilyph. He cannot do it kill me with Dragon Claw. But his play is always the Dragon Claw here. Because he can always go hard. He can always hard swap into um, the Mammoth Swine against me. But I decided here to just roar him and hope he goes for Dragon Dance and then I'll play him on the Mammoth Swine. Like basically, now I have to go with my opponent's choke because he flinched my Chansey. And if he's Joyce Bandit, it's over anyway. So. So the only way here I can win is if he clicks Dragon Dance. But yeah, like a smart player here, like an experienced player would notify this and just... They would just Dragon Claw because my Sigilyph doesn't touch Mammoth Swine. And obviously he's playing in a tournament. And he Dragon Danced up, so I get up my Roar, and I'm getting Leftovers Recovery. And now... This is this is why you never give up, guys. Because we Roar him into the Mammoth Swine now. And Mammoth Swine is still Choice Locked, so... Now it depends. Is he gonna Earthquake? Is he gonna Icicle Crash? I call the Earthquake here. And that's over, because now... Mam Mammoth Swine is Choice Scarfed. And... Dragon Knight cannot come in on Ice Beam because he's going to get to it KO with the multi skill. So he decides to let this die. But he's locked in. He cannot switch up moves. So I just Ice Beam spam and he deci decides to let Mammoth Swine die. Had he just clicked Dragon Claw, he would have just won the game. And 
and yeah, we just ice beam him now from his get when it's over. He like he should have won this game, but he decided to ch he, he just joked that so hard. Like, I should have just literally lost <laughs> right here, but uh, yeah. Obviously, I wouldn't be in that position if he didn't flinch my chance with the waterfall. But that's that is what it is, boys. And yeah, Dragonite can only kill me if he gets uh, like a crit or into like one crit or something. But yeah, I might be speaking too soon because you never know. But he decides to dragon dragon dance, and that's a joke because I don't die to a, a plus one. Like he needs to get a crit. He needs to get two dragon claws off with one of them critting. Because as you guys can see, there's even dragon jam boosted. And now I just not come out with the next ice beam. So um, win for us. <laughs> and yeah. Really annoying game. Obviously, um I'm playing against hyper offense with this kind of team, which is not the best matchup for us. Uh, I guess we can easily get overwhelmed. But yeah, like I said, I, I, I did set it up for Chansey to win. And uh, then, yeah, my, my win condition gets flinched. Um, so, that was that was, that was was just rough. And that was really frustrating at the moment. And yeah, then yeah, when things like that happen, when the game is lost, uh, you just play off your opponent's choke. Like, some people would try to Skull Burn the Dragon Knight there. But I don't think Skull Burning does too much because the threat was the Mammoth Swine. And by me roaring him out, I force I force a play on him. Because uh, I roar him out, I get leftovers recovery. And Mammoth Swine, if, if he clicks Earthquake, uh, if he clicks the Ice Type Attack and I stay in, I don't die, I might get off a rest. And with that rest, I um, might be able to win the game. Or I get off a Scald from there as well. And maybe get a Scald burn. Mammoth Swine is Joy Scarfed. But really playing off my opponent's joke. And I really hope you guys enjoyed that one. Like the other games are not that interesting. Like literally. Um, most of the games were against Stall. And it was really. My opponent couldn't beat me. Uh, all they could do was Stall. Uh, so I was playing 50 minute games. <laughs> uh, so my opponent just just decided to stay in on close combat from my uh, Berloom <laughs> with stuff like Chansey and yeah then, and in the last game uh, my single live got crit on an ice beam on a turn I click roost where while I gave well he had a flame orb on him but, uh, <laughs> the thing I had to grab a flame orb on him because uh, from that point I just from that point losing single live and then losing my weevil as well because I had to commit my weevil to the tentacruel Always happens in those kind of tournaments, but uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bit of a shorter video, but I, nonetheless, though, um, have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys next time.